one. Next up for Q of the day, this is a pretty good uh, statement and question, and it was posed to me by RDNZL, and it's all about uphold and 65-day asset holds. So let's jump in the office. Okay, and welcome everybody uh, to back to the office, and we're going to go over the question of the day, uh, which is from RDNZL7393. Don't have a name, just have an email. And uh, it's, a, it's a comment and a question all rolled in at one. It says, hey Rob, uh, this week you had a question from a viewer about Voyager policies, and I thought you might be interested to know about a new policy for ACH. ACH are automated, automated clearinghouse uh, purchases. So when you connect your bank uh, to an exchange, you can do what's called ACH. You can transfer funds uh, automatically, or you can do it uh, via debit card or a credit card or a wire. Just depends on your particular exchange and how it's actually being offered. But for what she's talking about here is ACH for uphold. So she says, or he or she says, uh, for ACH purposes at uphold and perhaps update your exchange spreadsheet. ACH purchases are now being held by uphold for 65 days before you are allowed to transfer them off their exchange. And when I first read this, I'm like, I gotta read that again, because it doesn't make any sense. That didn't sound right. I read it three times, four times, like, okay, I get it now. Let's see what's going on. So uh, they say the purchases are cleared for trading immediately with other assets on the platform, but their market rates are from an altern alternate dimension, <laughs> apparently, because they are nowhere near our actual market rates. Okay. So the only way to get your assets prior to 65 days of uphold is to use a credit card or debit, which we just talked about. Uh, I can't believe they made this policy change. 10 days is the longest period that I had experienced so far. Customer service has only replied with canned responses quoting the policy, which that's usually what we do now. Uh, for everybody who has customer service for their businesses, it's just canned responses, which kind of sucks. I get away from that, try to do answer as many questions as I possibly can myself, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, then she, he or she says, thanks for suggesting Voyager, sign up, signed up, it's going great. Okay, so first of all, we have to verify everything, right? Never assume things are what they say they are. Uh, do your own research, right, and do your due diligence. So I took a look at um, Uphold. Let's take a look at um, the actual um, the FAQ section. And I found this. It says, how fast can I trade funds deposited from my U.S. bank account? Uh, starting August 13th, you can trade ACH deposits instantly on Uphold, which means you can buy Bitcoin XRP uh, uh, without the four to seven day cool down period. For people who want to get into fast moving cryptos quickly, the change is a massive leap forward. Um, so great. They're able to do that. You can withdraw an ACH deposit to your originating bank account after three business days once the funds have settled. However, and this is the big one, you can withdraw ACH funds to external networks such as crypto wallets or send to other users on the platform after 65 days. That is exactly uh, right from um, the actual website from Uphold. So uh, what I did is, uh, I mean, the, the, the statement is, is a statement. The question was, can you update your exchange uh, list? And of course, so in the description of every one of my videos, there is a link. It's going to look like this. And this link is going to uh, send you to a Google spreadsheet, which has all the information that I've collected for all the different exchanges and wallets that I have used, am currently using, and will not use. And I go over everything as far as like the uh, interest rates, the fees, uh, how it all works, if I recommend it or not. I talk about my one-two punch, Voyager and Celsius. I know some people... I mean, a lot of people love Voyager, uh, and some people hate it. Uh, they say, ah, it's, it's this and that. Um, but, you know, I guess it just comes down to your, your personal experience. I have nothing but a good experience. And then now that I hear about Uphold, uh, I'm like, well, that's kind of a bummer. So 65 days is quite a long time. So I put that response in there, and I also put a link to that particular page uh, so people can find it. And uh, when they have questions, it'll, it'll just be right there for them. So. Uh, that is the question of the day. I'm glad uh, someone actually uh, is updating me on these things because I cannot imagine uh, 65 days. It seems like a tremendous amount of time. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, let's, just, let's jump back. All right, and that's it. So thanks a lot for sticking with me on a Sunday. Just want to say uh, thanks to uh, everybody who has joined up. Uh, I have a join now button underneath. It doesn't really get you anything special. You don't get anything, uh, you know, fantastic. It's like a tip. It's $1.99. And uh, these people sign up just as a way of showing thanks. So I say... 
great, I'll do random shout outs. So I want to give random shout outs to the new ones. Uh, Jesse Kirkland, Lincoln Six Echo, William Howell, who's been around for a long time, actually. Carlos Gomez, Droplet, who else we got? Patrick Neal, Noel Flippin Vegas, been around. Jimmy G, Joe Griffin, Mary Yala, Yala. Timothy Dillon and D. Ropke. So thanks everybody, really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's gonna be two that's gonna pop up in your left and right. I don't know what they are, because uh, YouTube has control over that. Uh, also, they have control over all the uh, ads you see. So if it was a scam uh, in the beginning, a scam ad or a scam ad in the middle or a scam ad after, uh, let YouTube know. They'd love to hear from you. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks a lot, appreciate it. See you.